Several years ago, I reviewed the North Face Gotham 3 jacket. How has it held up? Stick around and I'll tell you. Design The North Face Gotham is a downfield bomber jacket with a removable full fur hood and a built in balaclava. The Gotham features five exterior pockets and one on the inside. Fit I am 6'1", and as a result, I decided to purchase a large, though I could easily get away with a medium. The large affords me the ability to wear multiple layers even though I tend to wear only one t-shirt underneath my jacket. I suggest going to the store to try on the jacket and then decide which size best fits you, or order multiple sizes online. Something to keep in mind, the Gotham is quite puffy, so its silhouette may not be for everyone. I find the neck a bit loose and as a result it allows for some breathability but also lets in cold air therefore forcing me to wear a scarf on windy days. Performance Before purchasing this jacket, I weighed the pros and cons of synthetic insulation versus natural insulation. In the end, I opted for down for its warmth to weight ratio and its breathability. The Gotham has a field power of 550, meaning 1 ounce of down takes up 550 cubic centimeters of space. The higher the density of down, the more air it can trap. Field power does go up to 900 plus, but high field power jackets are usually reserved for extreme weather conditions. Think the Arctic. I've used the Gotham 3 in different weather conditions ranging from minus 40 degrees Celsius to 5 degrees Celsius and was able to stay warm on the extreme end and cool at higher temperatures. After moving from freezing Edmonton to warm Toronto, I had to get a lightweight jacket. Not that the Gotham was ineffective, but it was a bit too warm for everyday use above minus 10 degrees Celsius. The Gotham is fine for warm winter days when stationary, but when going on long walks, I find myself sweating profusely, requiring me to fully open the zipper. It would have been nice if the North Face included underarm and side vents. There are two glaring omissions from this jacket. 1. Shoulder straps Shoulder straps are very useful indoors and allows the wearer to remove the jacket without having to hold it or tie it around the waist when indoors. Two. Pocket insulation. I buy up to two pairs of winter gloves every season as I keep losing them. On cold winter days when I'm not wearing gloves, for whatever reason, I struggle to keep my hands warm because the pockets on the Gotham 3 are not insulated. The North Face says the down used in Gotham 3 is cruelty free, if that means a lot to you. Cleaning. Unlike synthetic jackets, down requires more care to clean. The Gotham 3 can be spot cleaned as needed throughout the winter if it's a darker color. Lighter color jackets will need to be deep cleaned more often. There are two main ways of deep cleaning the Gotham. First method is at home with a washer and a dryer. You will need a special cleaner like Granger's Downwash as the enzymes in regular detergent might damage the down. Personally, I do not recommend washing the Gotham 3 at home as it's a process. The down needs to be properly dried to prevent the formation of mold and mildew. The drying process takes several hours as the North Face recommends air drying only. The jacket needs to be constantly fluffed when air drying to prevent the down from clumping. Though not recommended, a dryer can be used at the lowest heat setting and this requires several drying cycles. A pair of dryer balls or tennis balls are recommended to help fluff the jacket preventing the down from clumping. The second option is to have the Gotham professionally cleaned. Yes, it does cost money, but it removes the hassle of drying. Conclusion The Gotham 3 is a great jacket with very few issues. It is very warm but maybe too warm for milder winter climates and extended physical activities and warm winter days. One strong positive is that the Gotham does not leak down, at least from my experience of owning it. I've lost less than 5 pieces of down in over 3 years. I've added affiliate links in the description for your convenience and for the most up-to-date price. Do I recommend the Gotham 3? Yes, yes, and yes. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. And until next time, I'm Terrain. Subscribe!